there are four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Hey friends, I'm Mr. Queso, and welcome to the classroom. So there are three main states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. And plasma. Yes, and plasma. You can't forget about plasma. Yep, we'll get to it. But first, I just want to... People always forget about plasma. Don't worry. We'll get to plasma. But should we get back to the lesson now? Sure. I don't even know what plasma is. <laughs> All right. Now let's start with the basics. Everything in the universe is made from matter. From this wood, to this purple water, to the air in this balloon. It's all just made up of molecules and atoms. All of these molecules are constantly moving, and however much or little they move determines their state of matter. Here, let me explain. All right, so we got this block of ice, which is a solid, right. It has a definite shape and volume. Now the molecules in this block of ice are only moving around a little bit. How can we get these molecules to move around more? How can we turn this from a solid into a liquid? Add heat. All right, so let's add heat. Oh, and, and by the way, when we talk about heat in science, do you know what we're really talking about? Energy. When we add heat to something, we're just adding energy. And when we take away heat, Yep, we're just taking away energy. It's melting. All right, as this is happening, let's zoom in to see what's happening on a molecular level. So the molecules in this block of ice are only moving around a little bit because they're in this formation that we call a crystal lattice structure, which is just a fancy term for saying that all of the molecules are neatly packed together in this grid formation. But then as we add heat, something happens. Huh? I like to imagine the molecules of a solid object as shy guests at a dance club. They only move around a little bit until we add a bit of heat. Oh, this is, this is nice. I might move around a little bit, stretch my legs. The increase in energy gets the molecules moving more and more until they break out of that rigid structure and melt, becoming water. Look, we can see it happening right now. All right, so now we have this water. It has a definite volume, but it can change shape. Like, look at if I pour it from this beaker into this one. See, it changed shape. Should I be taking notes on this? All right, so now that the ice has melted, what happens if we add more heat, if we add more energy? Well, the water will boil, and then it will turn from a liquid to a gas. But what is happening on a molecular level? Well, the molecules continue to feel the temperature rise and they go, oh. Oh, this is just getting better and better. I want to spread out even more. So the molecules are moving around farther and farther and faster and faster until they break out of the shell of being a liquid and turn into a gas. Look, this steam has no definite shape or volume. You can see that it's taking up the space in the room. It's mixing with the gaseous air molecules in the room. It's gas! But what about plasma? Ah, uh, yes. What about plasma? Well, how have all of the other changes in the states of matter happened? Uh, we increased the heat. We added more energy? Exactly. And changing from a gas to a plasma works the exact same way. Only we can't do it just with this little burner we have in the lab. All right, but if we added more and more energy, that eventually the molecules move so fast that they split apart from each other and the electrons break apart from the protons and they fly freely throughout, creating some pretty electric stuff. Is that a lightning pun? Yep, because lightning is plasma and also the sun is plasma. And this thing. Check this out. It's a ball of plasma. Fun fact. The most common state of matter in the entire universe is plasma. It's just we don't see it a lot on Earth. 
But you know what? Tons of cosmic things are made of plasma, like stars, but also the gas in here. This is plasma. <laughs> How cool is that? So to recap, we have solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. And the more energy you add, the more the molecules will move around. And when you take away energy, the molecules will move around less. All right, remember, be curious and ask questions. I'm Mr. Queso, and see you next time in the classroom. <laughs>